Hi everybody, welcome to uh, this uh, series of tutorials on Arturia um, Isen. Um, this um, it has been around for a while, but it is still uh, probably one of my favorite synths. It is quite reliable when it comes to particularly a UV3, and I used it um, extensively when I, I have recorded other tutorials. So in this first uh, uh, video, I'm going to uh, go through the UI and then in subsequent videos, I'm going to go through each of the settings. And it's pretty straightforward, uh, but with simplicity sometimes uh, uh, comes uh, a better tone with the sound. So start from, starting from the top and we have um, a selection uh, uh, of preset left and right, like so. We can load a preset, click on load. Here we can select the bank on the left hand side. As you can see, there are uh, several banks, then a, a subset of those banks, and then uh, we can select, uh, um, for example, um, one preset. When we finish, we click just outside and, um, and we can play on the keyboard. <laughs> We can go to the next preset, like so. We can, of course, save a preset. If we have modified it, we can select which uh, um, subcategory to save it against to. In this case, we select Cancel. Here we are on the main view uh, for the synth, but you have also a modulation metrics page where you can further select uh, uh, your modulation source and uh, destination. You have your voice program page, um, which is activated either uh, pressing uh, subsequent notes, or if you have the arpeggiator on, practically almost like an extension of your arpeggiator. You have your FX or FX page, and also uh, where you have additional settings for each of your effects, uh, and then you have a performance page where you where it comes handy to have some of the controls as you can see here in the middle of the screen um, as you do a live performance. You have an info section here, if you click on it, it redirects you to uh, the uh, manual page and it's quite comprehensive, really good, really good. And here you have uh, the ability to register as well. And if you click on connect, it will expand another part of the synth where you can enable or disable the background audio. You can enable or disable the waste with the Korg, which is the three Korg technology um, to synchronize uh, start and um, stop with other devices. Um, you have a setting for global tempo. Yeah, you can tap or you can move up and down, up and down like so, or tap for example if you want to select a different tempo. Um, we have a MIDI selection where you can select to. Uh, MIDI learn some of your controllers if you have an external controller connected and you also can select which uh, network uh, or MIDI connection you want to enable. Here you see the MIDI messages and then here you have the selection of the channels. So in this case it is receiving on uh, omni channels, so all of them, but you can select a specific channel as you wish. Um, back to the main page, here is where you have your main controls um, uh, for the synth. Moving down at the bottom, here you have your modulation wheel and you also you have your pitch wheel. Um, if you click on this icon, on the Obenheim icon, it will reveal additional settings. Here you can have um, uh, the selection to hold your note. Let's select uh, a different sound, for example, a um, an organ, maybe, or maybe a keyboard. Also. So if I hold, okay, you can clearly uh, hear that you are holding the tone. The code is to create your code to play codes with a single key. So in this case, you play first a code, and as you're holding down, you press the um, the chord uh, selection over here. So, and when you've done that, you can play that minor chord uh, on other notes. Really 
certificate. You have a zoom um, option, and when it is active, you can uh, touch and uh, scroll. Sorry, touch and hold and move left and right to change the size of the keyboard. And of course, you can scroll as well when you have uh, this feature enabled left or right the keyboard. You can move up and down octave, so octave up, okay, octave down. You can change the scale, in this case chromatic, but if you want, for example, a, a Olia minor, so here we go, and it will allow you to see only those key which are uh, relevant to the scale. When you finish, you just click um, outside. Oops. Um, on the scale, you can change the key, the key you like, and you can activate if uh, that preset is uh, uh, polyphonic or mono. <clears throat> so, I hope you, um, this was good for you. Um, just an introduction on the UI. On the next tutorial, we'll start to go through all the controls of the scene. See you next time. Bye.